<clears throat> Me raging Rob, back in Phoenix, back in the Valley of the Sun. This will be the first video I'm making since I've been home. <sighs> I'm tired. Delivered my load today at Target Distribution Center. Was there for four hours. So, first thing we're going to rage about, North Korea, our buddy Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-un, what's he been up to, the little fat boy motherfucker, a little, I'm a dumbster, wannabe. The United Nations is now going to pursue crimes against humanity against this fat boy wannabe Hitler but keep one thing in mind Today's President's Day, not Dictator Day. They're going to pursue United uh, uh, crimes against humanity, crimes against whatever, because this asshole is uh this this guy is a sick motherfucker. He's making mothers drown his, drown their babies in water. If there's any suspicion that they're, they got any Chinese in them, he wants 100% Korean. This guy is imprisoning his uh, citizens, public executions, a lot of citizens disappearing, privately and publicly. This guy's sick. Jared R. Ford, he's one dumb son of a bitch. Made a law said we can't do a public or we can't do political assassinations. It's needed now. I'm against the CIA, but I think they need to go in there and do their secret stuff that they do. Take his ass out. But here's the thing I don't get. We're going to try, this man, we're going to try to anyway, for crimes against humanity, we need to prove all China. Good luck with that. Why do we need to prove all China? The guy running that country is a dictator too. China's not free. Not as bad as North Korea, but still, they're communists. You can't have any freedom of religion or speech over there. Well, we don't want to fuck with China. Fuck China. We don't need their damn approval. Fuck them. But here's the question. Why are we trying this guy and not Obama? got to watch what you say against the government. They recently arrested a soldier for speaking against the government. Well, I'm not in the military. Never was. However, I am part of an own private militia group. It's called the Armed Citizens of America. I'm an armed citizen of the United States. I'm the Department of Homeland Security. We don't need the DHS. The Armed Citizens of America is the real Department of Homeland Security. So you knew the UN needs to do their job. Go over. Get rid of this piece of crap. Forget Syria. Assad is not a threat. 
They got their own civil war going over there. Stay out of Saudi Arabia. None of our fucking business. But when you get governments, when you get leaders executing your own citizens for the dumbest ass things, we gotta do something. This guy's worse than Hitler. This guy's killing babies. He's trying to compete with the welfare mothers and the mothers over here don't want their damn kids. So just get it aborted. Try to compete with them, huh? My advice to Dennis Rodman, you dumb son of a bitch. I've been a fan of Dennis Rodman, Michael Jordan, since I was a teenager. Since I was a kid, I love basketball. Chicago Bulls, one of my favorite basketball teams of all time, alongside the Detroit Pistons. Dennis Rodman, you prick. Stay the fuck out of Korea, North Korea. Are you a dumbass? Singing happy birthday to the North Korean president? Are you fucking kidding me? Who let this guy over here? That's, that's the best thing that he, Dennis Robin has done in the last 15 years. I'd like to sing happy birthday to George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. It's their birthday today. <clears throat> President's Day. Not Dictator Day. And this message goes to little this little twerp that wants to make videos. Oh, we're gonna make a comeback in 2014. VV3, <laughs> Chad Sloan, whatever the hell your name, okay? VV3, you know, you've been quiet the last year and a half. Let's keep it that way. Let's not start back up again, okay? VV3, VV3, stay away from me. How about that? <laughs>